welcome to Liberty Kids Corner. It's time for storytelling and I'm going to read you more ketchup things. Take note of this true story. It's not made up of course, about my sister Ruby and her love for tomato sauce. So if you do know someone who is a ketchup fan, please make sure you tell them how our problems all began. When Ruby was a baby, Dad made a big mistake. He fed her the wrong bottle when he wasn't quite awake. From that day on, it all went wrong and nothing passed her lips with a generous topping of Ruby's favourite thing. She splodged ketchup on her baby food and ketchup on her toast, ketchup on her buttered bread on, and won her porridge oats. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed and yelled out loud, I want more ketchup, please! As Ruby started growing up, one bottle didn't last. Our little local corner shop was running out too fast. Dad went to the supermarket and emptied all their shelves and staff were filling trolleys like busy little elves. Meanwhile at home, she glugged ketchup on her boiled egg and even in her soup. Ketchup on her ice cream too, then poured out with a glue. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be screwed, Ruby screamed and screamed again, I want more ketchup, please! To keep our Ruby quiet and avoid her piercing shrek, my dad would shop for ketchup maybe 18 times a week. I suggested to my mum, let's make a ketchup of our own. So we made a big garden, tomato grain growing zone. While they grew, she covered pizza and potatoes. She liked it more than mustard. And tomato sauce on all the dessert was dripping into her custard. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, with bright red cheeks, I want more ketchup, please! Dad sprayed tomatoes day and night to make them grow more quickly while Ruby kept on eating the sauce. It didn't make her sickly. Wow. Next morning, the neighbours weren't too happy when instead of filling trolleys, we blocked our streets with rows and rows of giant delivery lorries. As they delivered, Ruby glued ketchup on her donuts and smudged it round her lips, ketchup on her Brussels sprouts and loads more on her chips. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, there's no more sauce. I want more ketchup, please. Ruby news went round the world as supplies were running low while we squish our own tomato just as fast as they grow. Mum called on all the countries from Japan to the United States, sent every ketchup bottle that you have in the wooden crates. While Mum phoned, she covered biscuits and sweet waffles in a thick gloopy lake and Ruby even splodged it all over her chocolate cake. But when the bottle emptied and no more could be squeezed, Ruby screamed, we're running out. I want my ketchup, please. As the helicopters flew over to drop off their supplies, the army and the navy were all waiting to stand by. Ruby dripped her chip in sauce and had a juicy suck, but to our surprise, she quickly stopped and let a big yuck. Then Ruby said, I don't like ketchup anymore. I'm finished with red dip. Then the helicopter's back. They had a wasted trip. Tomato sauce is history. It's time to try new ways. From now on, Mum, I'll have my food with creamy mayonnaise. That was a funny story, wasn't it? I'll see you in my next video.